Join us today for a lesson on how to retrain a racehorse with acknowledged retrainer Simon Tainch. Simon has been retraining former Galloper Authoritarian, who was trained by the Freedmans and won the Moe Cup and the VRC St Ledger. Fighter rallying, but it's Authoritarian, who'll go pretty much all the way. My focus is always turning horses into competition horses, which means that, you know, simple things, a plastic bag flies across the arena. Uh, we do so much out of competition with bunting, um, you know, advertising signs, all that sort of stuff. They've got to basically learn to become tolerant. But from a riding and a training point of view, it also means I can put pressure on them on the ground and see what reactions I'm gonna get. Um, see what reactions, because similarly what reactions we get on the ground, we're gonna get those same reactions on their back. So not only if I can make them more tolerant um, to a lot more things on the ground, it just makes us a bit more prepared for once we start the riding phase. The, the three main points of riding is being able to stop, go and turn. So, but not only being able to do it, but being able to do it um, off really soft and responsive aids. So, first of all, we have to be able to make sure that when we kick, they go, and when we pull, they actually stop. Um, but then from there, it's about, they've got to learn a whole new system. Um, when they race, it's probably, a lot of it, there's two gears, it's stop or go, uh, where us, we've got to put about 10 gears in there. First of all, they've got to start to learn to yield from pressure. Now that pressure not only can come from a contact from our hand, but also from our leg as well. So our hand might be to shape their head and their neck, um, you know, where to uh, what flexion we want, all that sort of stuff. And then from our leg, whether we want them to go forward or sideways. Um, faster or slower, all that sort of stuff. But patience is the biggest thing, they're no different to people. They learn at different rates, they learn by different methods, and we have to keep that in mind all the time. So when people send me horses, they come every week for lessons. There's no point in me retraining, teaching a horse a new system, and then the rider goes back to ride their, their old way, and then any old habits or, or any confusion comes straight back can't ride against the clock, we've got to feel like we're on until you've made progress from the previous day. You know, there's no point riding for an hour and, and getting off if you're going backwards, you know. If, if, if everything's perfect after 25 minutes, call it a day, be happy with that. Stay tuned over the next few months across our Off The Track social pages to keep up to date with author's progress and find out more about retraining a racehorse.